何万だ散財光る<笑> Good morning everyone and welcome to today's short ski monthly memorial service and today let's begin with elementary mathematics how many of you can answer this one Easy, right? Seven, yeah, seven. How about this one? Fifteen, really easy, right? But does anybody recognize this is my birthday? July 8th. Okay, now you can remember seven plus eight, my birthday. Then, how about this one? Something plus something equals 15. Yeah? There are many answers to this one, right? It could be 14 plus 1, 9 plus 6, 7 plus 8 or something. So, two numbers melted into one and became one number. Does it make sense? Then, how about this one? Something plus something equals me. Don't say it, M plus E equals me. <laughs> but we often think that our life is subtraction, isn't it? We often say, oh, I lost this, I lost something. But life is actually addition from the Buddhist viewpoint. We are always accepting, and we are accepting many things, and we are accepting many things uh, from many people and things that is supporting our lives. So this may be difficult for small children to understand this one, but please remember simple thing. Life is not subtraction, but the addition, okay? So this is a children's talk. <laughs> <laughs> now I'd like to uh, share the word of the eighth head minister of our tradition named Dengyo. So please join me in Gashio. Please put your palms together. <laughs> On deep contemplation, we realize that the pleasures of human life last only as long as a flash of lightning or the morning dew, a dream or an illusion. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Naman da Butsu. Naman da Butsu. So this is already the uh, second week of October, and it's getting cold and colder and colder, so it's getting harder and harder to get up and, you know, I want to sleep in, but I have to wake up around 5.30 or 5.45 every day uh, because Aoi needs to go to school, so I have to take her to the school. Um, and we, we leave house around 7, so I have to wake up early, and it's hard, isn't it? <laughs> so last Sunday service, uh, we sang the gatha, or the song, um, related to the poem, which was written by our founder, Shinran Shonin. And um, the poem was read when he was nine years old, and so he decided to become a monk uh, when he was nine years old. But it was late at night, so the monk um, who conducted the ceremony said, let's do this tomorrow, let's do this tomorrow, so come back tomorrow morning. Then Shinran Shongin read the poem and said, even the cherry blossom, which is in full bloom, might be gone by the storm in the night. So the monk was moved 
by the poem, and he, co he, con he conducted the ceremony for Shinran Shiongin to become a monk. And as same as what is expressed in Shinran Shiongin's poem, our lives has no guarantee of welcoming next day. However, opposite from Shinran Shiongin's understanding, we often take each day for granted. And we often think that we have many days to spend in our lives. And we think that we experience our own death only once. So it seems normal to live and rare to die. In other words, we often feel that it is natural to live and unnatural to die. But reality, or reali reality, is opposite. How hard we try, we cannot sustain our lives as we wish. Although we wish as, oh, I'm still young. I want to live more. We cannot do anything about it. That is our lives. And we are now living the lives which is difficult to be alive. So please think about this deeply. You don't have to say this aloud, but how old are you now? Your age times 365 is the approximate days you have spent in your lifetime. In my case, that is 13,607 days. The days we have lived times three is the approximate meals we had in our life. I had about 40,281 meals. <laughs> What were the in ingredients of the meals? I can't remember. <laughs> Beef, pork, chicken, vegetables, rice. Many ingredients were in the meals, is right? And all the meals, all the ingredients are supporting our lives now. Because if we stop eating, we cannot live. And when we think in this way, we are really living the life which is difficult to be here. Our lives cannot continue only by one organ stop working. So that life which is difficult to be here is here because of the indescribable, the indescribable causes and conditions. So, in Shin tradition, we often hear the term foolish being, foolish being. But what we call as foolish being or ignorant being in Buddhism is the one who lives without realizing this truth that we are living because of the many causes and conditions. And sometimes I hear that uh, people say, I'm not happy to welcome my birthday anymore because I don't want to get old. But welcoming birthdays means many lives supported our lives years and years. So we should appreciate birthdays regardless of our self-centered ideas as happy or unhappy. And some people strongly wished to welcome his or her birthday, but they couldn't. Like my mom, he passed out, and I mean she passed away when she was 48. She could, she probably wanted to live more. Um, she probably wanted to hold Hikaru and Aoi, but she couldn't, right? And when I think about the victims of the mass shooting in Las Vegas, I just feel sad. Some people might have been celebrating their birthdays. Maybe some of them were welcoming birthday next day or something. 
that one selfish act took many lives. So when I think about this fact, I think I cannot complain me getting old, but appreciate the fact that I am still alive because of many causes and conditions. Of course, when we get old, some parts of our body may hurt or hard to move. However, there are still the working of so many others that are trying to sustain our lives. And we often forget these truths and say, oh, I'm not happy to get old with our own self-centered viewpoint. And we are often forgetting indescribable causes and conditions which brought us here today. That is why we are taught as foolish being. And I often talk about one of the Shin Buddhists named Ayako Suzuki, uh, who had passed away at the age of 47. Uh, she said she became more aware of her body after she took her half of her lung off. And after the operation, she felt as, oh, I still, has, I still have hands, and I still had feet. I had this and that. And she realized that she's accepting many things from the others. And one of the poems written by Ayako uh, made me think. So I want to share the uh, poem titled Happiness. And I translated the poems. I hope I didn't lose any feelings um, of Ayako's poem. Happiness. Happiness runs away if we be greedy. I thought happiness is something we grasp by our own hands by chasing it. Happiness is something we accept. We accept little by little, and we share little by little. That was an important thing. So this is a poem written by Ayako. And we often try to earn more money or obtain title or status to be happy. But there are no true happiness by earning more money and obtaining title or status because we always want more and more. And there's no end to it. But we are accepting now. We are accepting now. We are accepting this life. When we realize this, I feel that Ayako is telling us that is happiness. And we were fortunate enough to wake up this morning, able to come to the temple and meet our families and friends here today. And when I think about our families and friends who have passed away before us, I feel that they are telling us, don't waste your day. And this occasion of monthly memorial service, we should listen carefully to the calling of our loved ones who have passed away. And we have to listen carefully to the calling of them to lead us to the truth of impermanence. So thank you very much for coming to today's service. And I would like to conclude my message with a reading of On White Ashes written by Rengyo Shongin in Japanese first and then uh, in English. Okay. So in closing, please join me in Gashio. Please put your palms together. それ人間の小なる層をつらつら感じるにおおよそ儚きものはこの世の主従
。幻のごとくなる、いちごなり。されば、未だ漫才の人参の受けたりということを聞かず、一生過ぎやすし、今に至って誰れか百年の業態を保つべきや、我や先、人や先、今日とも知らず、明日とも知らず。遅れ先立つ人は、元の雫末の梅雨よりも茂しと、言えり。されば、明日には高岩があって、夕べには白骨となれる、みなり。すでに無情の風来たり濡れば、すなわち二つの眼たちまちに閉じ、一つの息長く、耐え濡れば、こうがんむなしく返じて、通りの装いを失いぬる、時は、六神剣族集まって、嘆き悲しめども、さらにその会あるべからず、さて、しもあるべきことならねばとて、野外に送って、弱の煙となし果てぬれば、ただ発骨の溝のこれり、哀れというもなかなか愚かなり、されば、人間の儚きことは、老将不浄の境になれば、誰の人も、早く五将の一大事を心にかけて、阿弥陀仏と深く頼みまいらせて、念仏もすべき、ものなり、あなかしこ、あなかしこ。On white ashes. In silently contemplating the transient nature of human existence, nothing is more fragile and fleeting in this world than the life of man. Thus, we have not heard of human life lasting for a thousand years. Life passes swiftly, and few among men can maintain their form for even 100 years. Whether I go before others, or others go before me. Whether it be today or tomorrow, who is to know? Those who depart before us are as countless as the drops of dew. Though in the morning we may have radiant health, in the evening we may return to white ashes. When the winds of impermanence blow, our eyes are closed forever, And when the last breath leaves us, our face loses its color. Though loved ones gather and lament, everything is to no avail. The body is then sent into an open field and vanishes from this world with the smoke of cremation, leaving only the white ashes. Nothing is more real than this truth of life. The fragile nature of human existence underlies both the young and the old. Therefore, we must, one and all, turn to the teachings of the Buddha and awaken to the essence of life. 
By so understanding the meaning of death, we come to appreciate the meaning of this life, which is to be treasured because it is unrepeatable. By virtue of true compassion, let us realize the unexcelled value of this existence and let us live together with gratitude in our hearts. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namanda Butsu. Namanda Butsu. Namanda Butsu.